Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And um, once we have imported this project, so I'm going for the basic sample project, uh, which has a simple UI. And I will just explore this project first on the device, virtual device, and then uh, we'll move ahead with the Espresso. So let's uh, explore this project first. We if, uh, if will see, uh, you can uh, select these different ways you want to see this project. So if you go for this project to show it like this, okay, which is uh, uh, this is like a better visualization. Also, uh, if you want to go with Android, it will be a little different, okay. but uh, the project will be the same. Um, both of you. So whatever is comfortable for you, you can choose that. And uh, if you're choosing Android, if you go inside Java here, you will find three folders. Basically, one is, this is the main folder where you have the developer code. And Android test is the one where we will be writing the Espresso test. Uh, we already have some tests in here by Android team uh, from uh, whose repository you clone this project uh, as example. And this third one is a unit test, to write a unit test basically. So you always should remember, like you have to focus on the Android test, which is the where we'll be writing our espresso tests uh, later. Code first, develop the code, and you see there are two activities. That means it will have two screens. We'll see it uh, in a bit in the device manager, in the virtual device basically. Uh, so it has main activity and it has show text activity. So this maybe is something which will click on something on the main activity and it will go to the show text activity. Uh, it will be very simple, very basic, uh, simple uh, app. Uh, where we'll be writing espresso test basically. Okay, so and if you see here, they have also uh, determined or uh, have given the locators. Okay, so these locators only will be needing in our test to be able to uh, locate the element and uh, do some action on those elements. So let's go to creating a device. Okay, so click on this device manager on the right hand side, top, and uh, I already have created one. But if you want to see how to create it, uh, what we can do is we can delete this one, maybe it from the starting. So let's create a device. And uh, let's go for the phone, maybe Pixel 6. Next, uh, can take anyone. Uh, Tiramisu is the latest uh, version of Android 13. Let's go next. And I'm giving the same uh, name, Bravity. You can give any name here to identify it if you have multiple devices. And if I finish it, it should be creating the Android virtual device. It will show up here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll run this main activity. This main activity we can run directly on. So if you see here, it is given us an option like on which device we can run this. So main activity we want to run on this one. And we can click on run. So it will take some time. To load up window is we can also check one more thing, so which is very important is this build dot gradle. So it is like a, uh, how we have Maven projects, how we have Maven basically. So build dot gradle is something which actually where we have to set up the dependencies basically. And the only important thing here is because there are two build dot gradle, uh, we need to understand what is those basically. So build dot gradle, if you see this first one, which is project. It is at the project level basically. So it is coming up now. We'll come back to it. So build gradle, this one is project specific. This is module specific, or you can say app specific basically. So if you go to this build.gradle, you'll find all the uh, main information, uh, backbone information, uh, dependency information, all those things, which you might be using in a module later. All those information also will be given in this. Um, uh, build dot gradle at the project level. So here, if you see somewhere, they will mention the versions basically. So if you see here, all the versions are given, and espresso version also is given here. This will be used in the build dot gradle at the module level. So if you go to build dot gradle at module level, here you will find all the dependencies that will be needing for this project uh, to run, or to code, or to even write the espresso test. Okay, so here. 
uh, the main things will go. So at module level, uh, Gradle, you have to put your dependencies basically. As a developer, developers will be you know taking care of that. But Espresso dependency need to be put by the QAs or the test automation engineers who should be putting it in the module level build on Gradle file. Okay, always remember that. And if you see, we have something like Espresso core, which is a main uh, espresso dependency that we need to use. Apart from that, we have something like espresso uh, intents, but, and we also have some other runners, test runner basically provided by Android uh, community. Okay, so all these implementation need to be there uh, in this for this project because it is uh, espresso sample projects given by Android, uh, which we cloned. They have already set up all these things basically. But if you have to set up the things um, uh, from scratch, you can always you know, take a reference from this kind of projects that we have, okay? Also, there'll be a use of JUnit for Android X, basically. So JUnit also will be used to able to run the tests, okay? So we'll not be using test ng, but it'll, here it will be JUnit. Okay, it is still loading. So let's wait for it to get loaded. Uh, completely. So now this pixel is starting. Let's wait for the app to open up. So now if you see, this is a uh, basic sample, espresso sample app. Uh, it is having some issue with the memory. So, so if you see here, it is having this uh, label here and we can type something. Um, okay. Can type something here like hello and uh, change the text by clicking on the button, change text. So it is changing the label. And then we can also open a new activity and that is the one which we saw here, the another activity file here in the code. So if you open activity and change text, it will open a different activity on new screen basically, and it will show this text hello that we have. Okay, and I can go back. On the main activity. So this is what this app looks like. And in the next session, we'll be covering or we'll be writing our first espresso test in the uh, Android test folder. So you can see in the bracket, it is written Android test. So here we'll be writing our test. Already there are some tests written in Kotlin and Java. And we'll see um, what we can uh, test uh, basically for this uh, simple app. Okay, so that was all for today, uh, this session. Uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.